Hi guys, it's day 41 of Savor at Home. And tonight what we're gonna try is a scotch. We're headed, we're headed to the Speyside region to try something from the Balvenie Distillery, the Balvenie, as the Scottish say. I'm pronouncing it wrong, sorry guys. Uh, this is the Sweet Toast of American Oak. This is a 12 year old scotch that they finish in toasted American oak barrels, virgin American oak barrels. So they are completely unused. Um, and this idea was actually uh, brought up by the apprentice malt master. Her name, I'm probably also going to butcher her last name, uh, is Kelsey McKechnie. Okay. Um, and she came up with the idea of finishing the scotch in some American oak barrels. So instead of having them charred, they are toasted um, and it's brand new wood. So there's a lot of flavor that's coming out of the wood. Um, it doesn't disclose how long they finish it in, um, but it does say that the whiskey is, an, is originally matured in ex bourbon barrels prior. Um, now, Toasted American oak will bring out a lot of flavors of vanilla, so that's what we should be getting here. Um, but anyways, this bottle is 43% uh, ABV, um, and I don't remember how much I paid for it, so let's dive in. Uh, go ahead, take a look at the color. So there is some nice color in there that, oh, bye. Uh, there is some nice color in there, maybe coming from the new American oak. It is also a 12-year-old uh, scotch. Um, but the nose is very, very classic um, balvany for me. So there's a lot, a lot of honey and caramel. This has a lot, a lot of vanilla. Um, so that American oak coming through, the toasted American oak coming through. There's also that like, uh, that sweet like candied orange peel thing that Balvany has. Yeah, it's got a very, very classic. Thank you, Jerry. Jerry just told me the bottle is about 70 bucks. Uh, so it's a very classic uh, Balvany nose. So if you've had Balvany or if you've heard me talk about Balvany before, Bulvany, sorry. Um, then yeah, the nose the nose goes in line uh, with all of their spirits that I've tried. A very sweet nose. So it's got, it's a little bit thin um, and there's a lot, a lot of spice coming through, which is really interesting and very uncharacteristic for Balvenie, I think. Um, but it does, it has those classic flavors, those classic honey, citrusy notes that are coming through. Yeah. some apples and lots and lots and lots of cinnamon. It's got, it's got a little bit of, maybe a little bit of like espresso at the very end, um, but there's a lot more baking spice. Uh, I think it's pretty tasty. Yeah, um, it's an interesting uh, expression for the balvenie. So if you have the chance, check it out. Thanks guys.